Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pavel Stanley and this is part of a crash course on Principle for Mac. Principle is a great tool for creating UI animations and interactions. On this session, we're going to create a character that moves while you drag, which sounds a little bit too sophisticated and complicated, but it's pretty easy and pretty cool. And we're going to be using drivers to make this possible. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so on this section, I'm going to use drivers in a little bit more advanced way. And I'm going to use them to control how the, uh, the position of the face, of the eyes, the mouth, the ears of this robot. And they're going to change while I drag to the left or I got drag to the top or to the bottom or the left to the right. So I made this design with simple shapes, uh, vector simple shapes here on, on on sketch and I'm going to import it to principle. So I'm going to go to principle, I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and I import it here with this cool button. I import it and I have it here. And here I can start adding stuff, but right now I don't the first thing that I want to do is create one layer, a rectangle on top of everything, to make this rectangle the size of the artwork. And I'm going to change the opacity of it to, uh, instead of 100, I'm going to change it to 40%. And I'm going to show you why. So uh, let me change the color of it to black, just so I can see it. And I'm going to change the opacity to 20. And now, this is going to be my, uh, the uh, layer that is controlling the animation. This is going to be my driver layer. So to this layer, I'm going to call it driver. And I'm going to make it draggable, uh, sc scrollable horizontally and vertically, just like that. So it creates a scroll window there. And now I can start dragging it like this. And it snaps back to the center. So I can do it vertically and also horizontally. So I can drag it all the way around. And now this dragon is going to control the, uh, the position of the eyes, the position of the mouth and the ears and all the other elements. So I'm going to open my driver's panel. I'm going to move this guy around again, sorry. And I'm going to just move here. And now, as you can see, I have, uh, I can start adding properties to different layers uh, on the uh, scroll X and scroll Y of the uh, this element. So I'm going to go and going to say first of all sorry first of all let's let's start adding keyframes to all the elements so all these guys uh, all of these guys I'm not going to and it's phase two I'm not going the, the neck and the body are not going to move they're going to stay the same the only things that are going to move are the uh, the head the face the antenna the eyes and the ears and everything so I'm going to select all of those and over here I'm going to on scroll X I'm going to change the X position of them and I added new keyframes to them. I can, I'm going to move them so I can see them. And that's my starting point. All of them are in the center, are in the middle. And now if I start moving this to in the negative position around there, now I can start adding keyframes there too. And I'm going to add keyframe to this, to this, to this, to this, to this, to this guy, and to this guy. So all the selected layers have um, change their position. Now, when I move the driver all the way to this position on the X position, all the way to the right, I want my eyes, my mouth, and the ears move in, in some way. So I'm going to move the eyes all the way here, and I'm going to also move the mouth around there. And I'm going to uh, move the ear, sorry, the ear right. The ear right actually Instead of uh, changing the uh, the position, not only the position is going to change, but also the size of it. So I'm going to add a keyframe to the uh, to the width width of it, and over here in the center, I'm going to add another keyframe to the width of it, and I'm going to do the same with the ear on the left. I'm going to add a keyframe to the width, and all the way here another keyframe. And now here, I want this to grow. So it looks like it's uh, that it, you're, we're seeing the, the side of the, of, of the ear. Sorry. Let me move it. I'm going to hide this so I can start moving. 
around there and then I'm going to change the width of this around there and let's preview it so as you can see as I move it to the right the eyes the mouth and the ears move with my dragging so you start seeing what we're creating here which is pretty pretty fun pretty cool uh, now let's do the opposite on the other side so I'm going to show this guy again all the way here I think and I'm going to start adding uh, keyframes to all of these elements. I'm going to add all these keyframes. It's a little bit slow, but it, it pays off at the end. Okay, so here I want, I'm going to hide this layer now so I can start moving these guys. I'm going to move this all the way here and the mount a little bit to the left. And then the size of this moves like this. And then this guy looks like this so it shows a little bit more of the ear and uh, the antenna uh, as you can see that the antenna stays in place uh, I don't think the antenna needs to move uh, but I might be wrong you know what yes you know what actually let's move the antenna a little bit around here and then over here let's move the antenna around here so let's see how it looks See how, how the antenna moves and all the different elements when the element is going to be dragged. I'm going to select all of these layers and I'm going to move them a little bit closer to, to the center. And let's preview it. So as you can see, now it moves to the left or to the right. And now we start. We need to start adding uh, the, uh, the drivers for top and bottom. So I'm going to go here on the bottom. I see the same uh, properties that I can change on the scroll Y. So I'm going to go to the center again and I'm going to select all of my layers and I'm going to add a Y position and now I created all these keyframes and I'm going to, I don't need the size of anything that's all I'm going to move from the top and to the bottom. I'm going to show this layer so I can see it and oops sorry I want to move over here so when it moves down around there I'm going to hide this guy and I can start uh, changing the position of these guys so this guy moves around here these guys will move around there and let's move the head too all of this moves all of these uh, elements move so the robot it's looking down around there and see how it's over or here when it looks down all the uh, the eyes and mouth and the antenna look down and now let's do the same on the other side when it looks up so around there so it's, it's going here let's do the same around here so I'm going to start adding keyframes to all of these there you go and now I'm going to hide this guy now I can start moving these layers. It moves here and this guy moves around there. Probably the antenna stays there. These guys move lower and uh, let's move everything a tad up around there and let's see how it looks. See how it it looks down and then it looks up probably we need to move the head too and the eyes even higher so let's see it in action so it moves down and then it moves up moves down and then it moves up let's preview the whole thing and uh, so yeah I start moving and now wherever I move it the uh, it looks like the uh, the face of the robot is following your finger wherever it's it's being moved um, now obviously I don't want to be able to see this group so what I can do is uh, change the uh, for this the, the driver uh, layer uh, I can change the uh, the fill uh, the alpha of it to zero and now if I go and preview it now I don't see it and I can still drag and, and do this uh, cool effect and yeah so so yeah that's uh, how uh, uh, an advanced way of using drivers and I hope this uh, sparks your imagination to create awesome awesome stuff